Get ready. Show and standing in for David Thompson is me, Campbell Bain, and Dr. Boogie, professor of pop, soul, and rock and roll. In today's competition, we invite you to pit your wits against the master of hits himself. If you can ask me any verifiable question on any of the titles that we play today that I can't answer, you win the grand prize. What is the grand prize, you ask? I'm holding in my hand a rare copy of Mandolins in the Moonlight by Perry Como from 1958. And unless you can stump Dr. Boogie, we're actually going to play it. How about it, gold diggers? Just phone 0413579719 to try and stop me. Don't play that song for me. <laughs> Cause it brings back memories of days that I was new. No caller, I'm afraid Jim Morrison couldn't have written Bright Side of the Road. Because he was dead at the time, right, Dr Boogie? Aye, a definite liability, but it did give Van Morrison the chance to write it instead. <laughs> Is that the BBC? Well, unless you can prove that Wilson Pickett had a boa constrictor called Hugo, I'm going to have to disqualify that. You know that you And it's become one of the most covered songs in rock and roll since Elvis's death. Don't play no more. Aye, 1977. It was in all the papers. And it's 3:47. Still 13 minutes left to try and stump Doctor Boogie, if you can. Neil Armstrong said on that fateful day when he first put his foot on the moon. We are Lunnies and we are proud! We, we are Lunnies and we are proud! 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 She's waiting 
anticipating for things that you never, 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 never be saying. Yeah, yeah. But while she's there waiting without them trying. 